Hello everyone. Welcome to the second session on Oracle Rack on Windows. In the, our previous session, we saw how to create the shared disk and how to assign the shared disk, how to partition it, how to create the domain controller with active directories and how also how to create the DNS setup. So in this session, we'll be seeing how to proceed with the installation of a grid infrastructure as well as creating the installation of the DB binaries. So as I said in my previous session, this stands to be the same since Oracle does not support, does not recommend and does not support also installing your Oracle rack or your Oracle grid infrastructure in your domain controller. So there will be many issues like your ASM might not be up from the domain controller server. Also, there will be many issues with creation of your database also. So you need to think of those before proceeding with the video. This video is just a tutorial on to show how we can install rack on windows. So these are the things which we have copied from our previous session. And let me do one thing. Let me just copy it in here. And now let me just extract the files over here. Let me give the name as grid. So I will pause the video until this is extracted. The extraction was done. Let's proceed with the setup. One of the prerequisites I have not checked right now. Let me, let us go ahead with that. So configure Oracle grid infrastructure for a new cluster, standalone cluster. So this is the scan name. Let me add. Just a minute. I'm with my administrator user. So I need to log in with Oracle user to proceed with this. Had this been, we had proceeded with administrator user, then our grid infrastructure setup would have failed. Standalone cluster. Let me give the cluster name. And it will be taking the scan name also. Let me add node 1. So it will be validating the node readiness and the SSH setup on both nodes before proceeding further. So it, this is fine. So it, our public and private interfaces, those are getting validated right now. Ethernet 1 has been used for our public interface and the Ethernet 2 is used for our private interface and also for our ASM. You can see in here that it is not having connectivity. Rack 1 to node 2, it is not having connectivity. Let me check. Not from here, sorry. Whether the firewall setup is fine or not. Yes, this was turned on. Let me check now. Parallelly, let me check in here. In here, it should be down already. Yes, all are off. So should be working fine yes so configure grid infrastructure management repository yes i do not want separate asm this group for this now how do you recognize the path in 19c in linux environment we used to do it from change discovery path in here from stamp disk add or change and i need to take the 40 gb disk to proceed and I will give the name as data. Next, finish. So right now it will be populating it in here. And let me select all the disk. I'm taking the redundancy as normal. I've already explained what is normal redundancy and all in my rack 
overview of Oracle Rack video. The password enter does not confirm. No problem. Do not use intelligent platform. I do not want to register with OEM. Use Windows built-in account. This is the Oracle base which it will be taken. Now it is checking for the prerequisites. Whether all the prerequisite checks are successful or not. Let me pause the video until we get the result. So as you can see, there are some issues. The first one being the time. The timing is different. Let me take the time in time zone. So this one also needs to be changed. Let me check it now. One more thing, let me proceed. Let me make the changes of on this one. So whether I will be able to do it from here, let me see with yes, I won't be able to do with this user. I believe. Okay, I am able to do. See, it is asking for me to go to local system, then local machine, then system, then from here current control state, from here services, and in here W32 time. So in W32 time, let me go to config and let me change this value. This value should be 600. As you can see from here, recommended is 600. So let me put this in negative phase correction also let me put the value as 600 okay so this is done in here let me do the same in here so not in here in services w32 time go to config done done so this one I cannot do anything windows cluster nodes are not windows domain controllers i cannot do anything in this node are windows domain controllers as i said earlier the cluster verification utility had determined this as oracle recommends that oracle clusterware and database software should not be installed in the machine that are windows domain controllers so i cannot do anything in here let me check again so after clearing the prerequisites which was w32 we are getting these two errors. So one is for physical memory as you know that Oracle rack in 19C from 12C R2 8 GB of memory is needed whereas in here we are assigning 6 GB 5.85 GB that's why I am getting this error and the other one as I said cluster nodes are not windows domain controller. So rack 1 is a domain controller that's why we are getting this error. So let me ignore it and proceed. Let me install it. So I'll pause the video until the installation is complete. So we are done with our grid installation and as you can see it has failed with cluster verification utility and which we can see from this log. You can see it from here that the configure failed because of the cluster verification utility failed. This is because of the domain controller where we try to install our grid infrastructure that's why it has failed so i need to skip it you can see the configuration was successful but some configuration assistance were cancelled or skipped now let me run this as i told you earlier you can see it from here also that there will be issues with the grid setup the asm won't, might not be running or some other issues will be there from the node 1 which is rack 1 since this is the grid domain controller so let me let me see crs it is stat resource hyphen t so from here if we see from the start listener is online in both nodes 
network also ons is also online asm listener is online from both nodes you can see that the data disk group is offline in node 1 which is the domain controller scan listener is there in both nodes the management listener it should be running from one node which is rack 2 you can see the asm is also offline in node 1 which i already said these issues will be there if you are using the domain controller as one of your nodes now since we are done with this let us proceed with the db setup so for db setup let me first create directory okay let me make the same directory over here too now let me come in here let me copy this paste it in here and now let me extract it and give the name as db so the folder db will be created with this so currently this is extracting i will pause the video till the extraction complete so we are done with the extracting now let me run the setup since this is a rack setup we need to go ahead with the setup software only and then we need to go proceed with the database creation let us take oracle real application cluster database installation so we have these two nodes only let's proceed with this enterprise edition let us take the use windows built-in account you have selected to use built-in account for installation and configuration of oracle home oracle recommends that you specify your windows user account with limited privilege to install and configure a secure oracle home are you sure you want to continue yes next so it is performing the prerequisite checks right now let us pause the video until the prerequisite checks are complete so we are getting these two errors scan name configuration test failure and crs integrity these are all related to the domain controller as i said all earlier that this is not a full proof installation because we are running short of resources cpu as well as memory that's why we need to do like this i'm just showing you the process so right now it will start installing i'll pause the video until the installation is complete so the registration of the oracle database was successful so we are done with the database binary creation so this concludes our today's session on what we promised to show of grid installation and database binary creation hope you have liked the session and please do not implement it in your laptops where you are running with 16 gb of ram because you will face multiple issues if you are having much more memory in your laptop or desktop then you can proceed it means more than 16 gb if you are having around 32 gb then it is better for you to proceed so thanks a lot for watching the session take care